In this video, I will use the advanced CSS selectors to further style the employee portal application. You will learn about the descendant, pseudo, and ID selectors. Here is the completed employee portal application for this video. When I mouse over any of the button controls in a panel container, you can see that the overstates are blue. When I click on a button that is in a panel container, you can see that its downstate is green. However, when I mouse over and click on the logout button control, which is not inside of a panel container, its overstate and downstate are both gray. I've implemented a CSS descendant selector, which explicitly targets button controls inside of panel containers. Using advanced CSS selectors, you can implement very fine control over the styles implemented in your application. To implement a descending selector, you simply stack components in the selector definition. This example states that you want to target all of the Spark button controls that are in the panel containers. You can also stack multiple levels of descendants. In this case, I'm targeting the button controls used in a scroller component inside of a panel container. This is the starter application display for the employee portal application. You can see that by default all the button controls have default button colors. In Flash Builder, I'm opening the associated CSS file for this application. Remember that this file is hooked into the main application via this style tag. At the end of the CSS file, I'm creating a descendant selector that first targets the Spark panel container and then all Spark button controls in the container. I'm setting the color property to black and then the chrome color, which is the background color for the button, to green. When I save the file and run the application, you can see that all the button controls in the panel are green with black text. The logout button has not changed colors because it is not in a panel container. You'll also note that the color for the scroll bar component is green. This happens because the scroller component is made up of button controls, and so it is also affected by the descendant selector. I'm copying the descendant selector and pasting it below itself. Now I'm adding the spark scroller component as the second element in the selector and changing the chrome color property to dark gray. I'm removing the color property. This code will now affect the button controls inside of a scroller component that's inside of a panel container. When I save the file and run the application, you can see that the scroll bars are no longer green but a dark gray. A CSS pseudo selector matches components based on an additional condition. The condition might be dynamic and might not be defined by the document tree. Pseudo selectors are commonly used to apply styles to component states. This code shows a pseudo selector for both the button up and the button down states. Note that you can also define universal pseudo selectors. This code applies the same color text to all components that are in an up state. In the CSS file, I'm changing the panel container descendant selector so that it applies to the down state of the button control. I'm also adding a selector for the spark button controls up state. This will affect the up state for all button controls including the ones inside and outside of the panel containers. I'm setting its text color 
to white and its chrome color to gray. I'm copying the descendant selector that applies to the down state of the button control in a panel container and pasting it below the selector for the button controls up state. I'm changing down to over to create the over state for the spark button control. When the user mouses over a button within a panel container, I want the color of the text to be black and the chrome color to be blue. When I save the file and run the application, I can test the results. All the buttons have upstates with white text and a gray background. The buttons within the panel also turn blue when I mouse over them. When I click on a button inside of a panel container, the button turns green. Notice that the scroll bar is also affected by these changes. But the logout button outside of the panel is not. Back in the CSS file, I am locating the descendant selector for the scroller in the panel container. I'm changing the selector so that it applies to the overstate of the button control. I'm copying this instance of the descendant selector and pasting it under the first. I'm changing the overstate to the down state and saving the file and running it. Now when I mouse over or click on the scroll bar, the color is still gray. An ID selector styles the component that has an ID property that matches the selector defined in the CSS file. The selector is tied to one specific component instance. The syntax is to declare the ID property prefixed with a hash or pound sign. In this case, the code is targeting a button control with the ID property of submit button to turn its text to a gray color. Back in the main application file, I'm opening the employee of the month component by control clicking on it and locating the label control that displays the employee's name. I'm giving it an ID property with a value of employee name and then saving the file. In the CSS file, I'm creating an ID selector by typing pound employee name and setting the color property to red. When I save the file and run the application, the employee's name is now red. For your next step, work through the exercise titled Using Advanced CSS Selectors.